We'll start with the Jets, Wendy, and a couple of dynamics to lay out. First of all, it's going to be an expensive contract. Le'Veon Bell has made that much clear. You need to find a team that has the need for a dynamic running back that does not currently have it on the roster and is financially equipped to make a commitment to Le'Veon Bell. The Jets and GM Mike McCagney have talked about how well positioned they are for the spring of 2019. They're going to have a high draft pick. They don't need a quarterback, but they're going to have close to $100 million or more to spend in free agency. They did not whiff this past offseason, but by not signing Kirk Cousins, they have the chance to again be aggressive. Isaiah Crowell is the incumbent starter. But Le'Veon Bell's a difference maker. And in order to make Sam Darnold better, it's not just about his own development. It's about the pieces around him. Not just a good offensive line, not just capable wide receivers, but a reliable running back that can take pressure off of him. For all of these reasons, if you're looking for a team around the NFL that makes the most sense, I keep coming back to the New York Jets. In each of these situations, there are two factors. One, you'll have to make sure you can afford him. Because yep. to your point, that's why we're in this boat in the first place. It's going to be a big number. But you also want to make sure you can make good use of what he brings. Can the Jets do that, Coach? Oh, no doubt. And they need a running back. They need a lot of pieces actually around Sam Darnold. And I can promise you that a quarterback's best friend is the ability to run the ball. When you get up there with check with me's and you can go up there and you have a nice pass play, but then, uh oh, they play split safety. To be able to hand that off gives your quarterback a break. Uh, the Jets need a lot of weapons, and running back would be a great start. All right, obviously a lot of questions in New York that got to get answered as well, but that's 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 spot number one. Let's move on, shall we, just in case? Yeah, let's go to the Oakland Raiders, and we know this much. It's a total teardown and rebuild right now, so that might be the number one reason why they wouldn't invest in Le'Veon Bell. But we know something else. NFL coaches, GMs, and especially owners are impatient. And right now, I'm not sure there's a roster more devoid of offensive talent in terms of skilled players than the Oakland Raiders, and they, too, are going to have all the money in the world they want to spend. Now, you may say they didn't want to commit to Khalil Mack, why would they want to acquire another blue chip player like Le'Veon Bell? Just say, look at the roster right now, and if you want to accelerate a rebuild, Le'Veon Bell's a good start. Not quite as much as the Jets to spend, but they still have money. They do, but I think the issue is this, and Field touched on it, is the rebuild. I like. I feel like it's a year too soon for them in mm -hmm. terms of this. They're tearing it down, and I don't know that blowing the running back market out of the water is something that the Raiders would do. They, they are devoid of talent at the position uh, there right now. He would help them. But there are a lot of players, quite honestly, that would have helped them that they've gotten rid of. I think in terms of the impatience, that is the case most of the time. John Gruden's going to have nine years left starting nine. next year. I, yeah. All of a sudden, you, need two you hands. have the ability to be a little bit more patient when that's the case, and that's why I think it's probably a year too soon for somebody like Le'Veon Bell, my estimation. Coach, you take a 10-year contract? Oh, yes. Well, one? Yes, well, okay. and, and, and even about half of what he got. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, Phil, let's stay out west, shall we? That's right. Stay in the Bay Area right here, and I understand people are going to say, well, they just signed Jarek McKinnon last offseason. They have Matt Breida, but they have dealt with so many injury issues that the importance for depth at running back is something that I think has been highlighted to the 49ers this offseason. Season. They have a ton of money to spend, and GM John Lynch has been unafraid to do record-setting deals. I mean, he blew the fullback market away with Kyle Juszczyk. He's not afraid to spend big when he identifies a player that he likes. And I know they have some running backs right now, but I love the idea of Kyle Shanahan scheming up plays for Le'Veon Bell, one of the most confident and creative play callers we have. You're, in you're right about John Lynch. I mean, he did it with Garoppolo as well. Of course, that's the quarterback. Well, well there's no fit. doubt that, that Kyle Shanahan loved him. Look at what they played Peyton McKinnon. I mean, they yeah. love that type of back. That's as good a run team, especially outside zone running team as there is in football. And you're seeing that now with, you know, really some injury depleted, uh, injury depleted roster, especially on offense. So I could actually see that. I mean, it's a lot of money to pay for that, that luxury, but I can see John Lynch actually doing that. Field? Yep. Find this man at home. Yeah, let's go down 95 here and go to Baltimore where the Ravens could create a bunch of cap space if they move on from Joe Flacco. Let's envision that that happens this offseason. You have an offense quarterback by Lamar Jackson. I think what that means is you're going to want to have a satellite players based offense guys that can do damage in space and Lamar Jackson, Le'Veon Bell defending them every single week would be an absolute nightmare for defenses and maybe this, you know, the Raiders Ravens don't have a game changing running back on the roster and certainly wouldn't hurt to poach it away from your biggest rival in your division, Tim. It's a win-win right there. You know what? I actually can see this one. I haven't heard this one much, but I actually could see this happening, and it makes a lot of sense. Yep. Exactly right. A new GM, kind of make your mark, uh, a signing that certainly would help your team right away. You know, we don't think he's going to be in Pittsburgh next year anyway, but obviously having a guy that was a former Steeler on your team 
Um, you know, they know quite a bit about him. And you're right, you're going to probably be transitioning to a new quarterback. And, you know, Coach mentioned the ability to run the football and the advantage that that gives you as a quarterback. Look, I, I actually could see this one, you know, making a bit of sense. Um, you know, for, you know, to be honest with you, for Le'Veon as well as, you know, for the Ravens. Do we really want to think about Aaron Rodgers and Le'Veon Bell? Let's I mean, that's a tandem right Ron there. Randy. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. And we just spent time talking about how good Aaron Jones has been. I'll just say this. It's been a changing of the guard in the front office in Green Bay. And Brian Gunekis, their GM, is not afraid to dip the toe into free agency. And they have been major players this past offseason. They were aggressive in the draft in terms of moving things around. They were aggressive in free agency in terms of signing Jimmy Graham. They made a couple of trades at the deadline. So I wouldn't rule anything out. And I think that Aaron Rodgers has not been exactly quiet when it comes to sometimes expressing his frustration about the roster. I think that's fair to say is that he wants guys that are ready to contribute right now. You have to maximize this window of Aaron Rodgers. He's on the extension and right before the season began. And wouldn't it be great to pair him with arguably the best running back in football and say, you know something, for the next five years, go ahead and try to defend us offensively. You're not going to be able to do it. I, I don't know how you would. I, guess, I mean, you got to keep D coordinators up. Bill, do they have any money left after <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, well, that? Like a little bit I mean, stashed hey, away. Hey, if they can afford it, I actually could see that. And really, look at Ty Montgomery. He's a converted wide receiver. I know he just recently left. And we talked about uh, uh, Aaron Jones, but Le'Veon's a completely different type of player as yeah. far as that weapon out of the backfield, getting into empty. And I know Aaron Rodgers would love that kind of toy to play with him and plus being able to have a good running back. I mean, talk about pick your poison in terms of defending <laughs> yep. those two. Good luck.